Swift and Tips Podcast. Like we said at the beginning of the episode, uh, we work together uh, mm -hmm. in a medical device company. Um, and well, uh, your role there is a principal role, mm -hmm. principal engineer, right? Working for an, uh, an iOS project. But before moving to that, I'm curious, um, could you explain to people that maybe are not familiar, uh, maybe some people are familiar with the senior role and most of them want to join uh, or achieve that, that new role, but maybe principal is, is way beyond. So uh, what is exactly what the, what the principal engineer role do? Well, that's, that's an excellent question. And I guess it depends um, yeah. on the company, obviously, right? I mean, so there's, you know, it's, you can consider it, I guess, kind of a rank, right? That it's 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 a notion that that kind of reflects the amount of experience I have just in general. Yeah. But um, in some companies, if it's small, there's no need for a, a principal engineer because you're maybe your your senior engineer or your staff engineer, if you even have that rank, is is doing all this work, right? But the the idea I think of a principal engineer is that I'm I'm helping drive technology at a sort of a platform level to understand like what, what we're going to do and how we're doing architecture and how we're building apps to not just work on the current project, but set the stage for future work that we're going to do. Um, I mean, to be fair, I'm still an engineer, right? So I still write code. It's not like I am, I'm just in, in, at least I try not to be just in meetings all day and thinking about <laughs> and, and living yeah. in new little diagrams or something, you know, so push comes to shove and there's bugs and there's issues. And then, you know, part of, so that's kind of my role. I feel like, I think people probably have an idea of what, what software architects do, right. And, mm -hmm. or, or, or system architects where they're, they're looking at all the business needs at, at a company and all the different projects and platforms and technologies. Like at our company, you know, uh, at, We, we have a medical device that our application communicates with. And so the, the, the system architects are in, in charge of understanding kind of where all these different technologies are going and, and, and helping to, to set, the, set the, the shape of the work that's going to be done so that, um, you know, all these different business needs can, can be accounted for. As a principal architect, and really, I frankly, I think any software developer should have a, a software architect mindset to understand the point of abstraction and, and, and the point of how, how you design systems that can change over time and, and adapt. So that's, I think as a principal engineer, I kind of stride the boundary between architecture and implement, implementation. You know, I mean, I help understand architecture, but I also am, am there to make sure that people on the team are, are learning correctly and that the ideas are being applied properly. And some, sometimes it's, it's from my point of view, a lot of that is just by example, you know I mean? So much as mm -hmm. I can, I try to, 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 that's one reason why I think it's critical that I continue to write code and be a developer because I, I, I want to make sure I understand the challenges like at the, you know, at the keyboard level, right? So that, so that, um, you know, if people are running into bugs or they're running into, into problems, or don't know how to do things, they tend to turn to me to help them solve, solve these issues. So it's kind of, so I have lots of hats I wear where some of it is, mm -hmm. you know, I, they're kind of helping make sure I'm, I'm the liaison between business needs and, and architecture as far as, okay, well, how are we going to actually implement the things that they want us to do? Mm -hmm. Um, also, okay, well, how, how do we make sure that the product gets released on time? And if there's any serious problems, yeah. <laughs> I can maybe kind of parachute in and help. Um, how do I also part of the role of a principal engineer is, is I think to help educate more, you know, help through his programs or at least, you know, mechanisms to help educate the more junior developers and create, you know, and so I think that at our company, we're kind of transitioning because we're close to our our primary product launch. Um, it's coming soon. I can say that, I think. Um, but the, um, <laughs> so we're, we're kind of transitioning from building the rocket and launching the rocket to now, okay, well, now we want to, to build moon. more rockets and we're going to build a space station. You know, I mean, it's like we want to, <laughs> now it's not, it can't just be, you know, a, a small, it, we, our team's getting larger and, and the number of things we need to do are, 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 um, are continuing to increase. And so part of what, I do as a principal engineer is is make sure we're we're setting up programs and and I, there's people who are others can take on some of these responsibilities for 
for doing the, a lot of the day-to-day -day design or a lot of day-to-day -day work. So it's not just, you know, so that, so that the whole program can scale. Yeah. Uh, so, it, I know, and so that I, that's kind of a fuzzy answer because it's kind of a fuzzy role, right? I mean, it's like, I don't think, one thing about being an engineer is that there aren't necessarily clear boundaries between these different layers. It's more it's a, sort of a matter of degree, right? I mean, as yeah. I said before, I think even most junior engineers should be thinking about and to understand and keep learning like the principles of, of solid software architecture and, and design and abstraction and encapsulation, et cetera. They're not necessarily thinking about, okay, well, how do I, how do we, how do we going to transform all of our code to be more modular and to be able to allow those things to, but they should understand what, what those concepts are. Um, yeah. But, and, but you know, it, it'd be nice if I never had to fix it, another bug again, but that's probably not, not the case. <laughs> Is, right? no, you know, I don't so. think so. <laughs>